trying to run in poor conditions and then nil nil at the end of it. That was probably fair enough, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, first half they were probably better side, but um, we come into it a bit. Um, yeah, you know, the, the conditions again, it, it didn't help. Um, there wasn't a lot of football being played and we couldn't really, you know, um, me and Pennant were kind of getting second balls, but nothing was coming for us because we, we couldn't get on the ball. So, um, yeah, it was tough out there, but probably could have been, um, proved to be another vital point. Um, but we need, really need to start getting going now, you know, we've got a big month ahead of us. Um, I start from Saturday, so um, we sort of have a good, good week in the training field, probably, and then be ready to go and get back to winning ways. Hopefully, yeah, seven games in February is a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it is a lot. Um, you know, so that's why it's kind of good to get this one out of the way, so we've got a kind of week to prepare for that. Um, it is a lot, but um, you know, it's a chance for us to you know, gather a lot of points as well, which um, you know we need to do now. So um, it's going to be a massive, massive, um, massive month, and you know, it could. Could determine whether we um, we're up there or not because um, you know we can't afford to not win a majority of those games. Mark said after the game that he said the phrase he used was "you're not right at them." That's collectively. Is that something that he shared with you, and, and is that something that the players also feel? Um, I don't feel we're, we're not right. Um, it's almost like the, it's almost like, like the car is misfiring a bit. Yeah. I, we haven't really created a lot of a lot of chances of late, but um, probably had the clearest ones at Morecambe, and you know tonight I think probably Keith's chance. You know, Fix seems to fall to Keith lately, but um, probably Keith's chance is, is the clearest one of the night as well. Um, you know, and it's, it's rebounded straight to Sean, and you know, if the luck was going away, it would have hit him and gone in, but you know, it's managed to go through his legs. Um, it, it is the last two games have been hard. You know, we're not making excuses up there; they've been hard to play in. And, um, but obviously we expect to we expect to win. So um, you know, with, with France there, Gavin and Saint missing, um, you know, he, he, he may be right. Um, I, 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 I hopefully, he can add to um, add to the squad and you know, bring something to kind of freshen the squad up and you know, get the, get the lads buzzing. Maybe. And do you feel that there is a spark that the new player might bring in? Yeah, of course. If, if we're, we're bringing in a you know a name or you know, someone that's um, done the business and you know um, scored goals or you know it's a high name you know that Luke's come from you know, Man United today. Um, yeah, it's going to bring the lift. It's going to bring a lift to, to the squad. Um, I think we all know as a team that we, we need players to help us. And you know as soon as they're you know they're in, obviously we'll embrace them. And, you know they'll be one of us. And, Hopefully, it could be a bit of you know that that something or that something special that we may need now. Difficult question, Russ, but I think the way the side was playing just before Christmas last year, when you were really bombing on, mm. the, the group is much the same now, and yet that, that comes back to what I mean to say about the, the squad not be whatever it is. It isn't quite working, is it? No, we are. You know, we said that from the start. It's not. And it's not because of, of lack of effort. Yeah, we can't keep on saying that we're not far and. Um, we haven't played as well, um, you know, this this season as we did last. But you know, we're, we're still out there. We're still amassing you know, a good number of points. We're still on a massive shout. So, um, like I said, if, if the Gaffer can add a few, few signings to help us, um, if not, we're going to have to dig in deep. But um, yeah, we haven't won. In, uh, one was it one in nine? Which is, which is not obviously a great statistic for us. And, you know, luckily enough, you know, sides don't really um, kind of take their chance in that. So, um, you know, this this may be our little kind of mid slump or whatever. But um, so we've got February now to kind of concentrate on and you know, these last few games will be in the back of our mind on Monday and you know, we're ready to go. Pleased that Darren signed the rest of the season. Yeah, I think it was um, it was um, kind of. Keen for him. We we want him as a team, you know, to sign. You know, he's been good for us, and you know, I think that news as well will probably lift lift the squad as well. So um, you know, it's going to have a great signing for us, and you know, it kind of shows Dad's that kind of um, believes in, believes in the club and believes in our ambition. So um, you know, it's good, and hopefully we can add a few more. And just like you said about Luke, he'll he'll have a week's training with you before next weekend. Whether he gets the other one is a different matter, but you know, he's probably just learnt all your names today. Well, yeah, how you work out. I've been there before, you know. And, and the side you, coming on the on the day for a game is always hard, and um, we probably still don't know our names, to be honest. But you get, it's kind of good that we've got the whole week to train and you know to get to know and to get to know what he's like and for him to get to know us. So you know that'd be vital, and you know, 
know, they coming in to do a good job for us. He looks looks the good build for centre back. Yeah, he, he's only a young lad, so um, come from Man United, um, that's are gonna gonna think he's gonna be, you know, something a bit better than what we got to be honest. So um, yeah, hopefully he, he's a good addition, and you know, I don't see why he won't be. From the staff there, you probably got something about you. Haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, he's not Man United for no reason, so um, you know, he's come here to. Gain some experience and hopefully get some minutes on the pitch. Marcel, well, so slightly better night than the last game against Rochdale, wasn't it, for, for you and for the team than, than it was up there? Yeah, um, you know, we obviously wanted the three points to kind of um, get revenge against them, but um, yeah, it was better. It was better tonight in harder conditions. Um, we were disappointed, obviously, with a conservative 0 0, and you know, especially at home where we have been really good this season. So, um, but, you know, sometimes you can't. You, Obviously, we tried and we have some puffs about you know that bit of quality or you know in the final third and sometimes decision making from us being, being the wrong thing. So um, I just said no. You know, we for the training field we can work on things now and another home game on Saturday to look forward to. Yeah, it feel like you're under pressure to create yourself because obviously the strikers aren't really missing that um, many chances either. They're not really getting that much. Yeah, but like I said today, it was hard. Um, and I can't remember a time where we've had, you know, sustained possession and, you know, it's come through me or it's come through us and it's kind of us, you know, getting on second balls or getting on flicks or knockdowns or, you know, deflections. So, um, yeah, they made it up for hard for us to play and obviously so did the conditions. I think everyone would be pleased if the weather improves from the chance to actually play some football and not worry about the yeah. swirling all over the place. And yeah, no, we can't. We can't um, be a fair weather team because that's not us, you know. We, we still could have kind of nicked three points today. Like it's, we didn't create a lot of chances, but you said that chance with Keith was probably the best one of the game, um, and the keeper's pulled off a great save. Um, so yeah, well, obviously when the weather perks up, there, there'll be no excuses. Yeah, and you had, when you had the dip last season, it was March. You just couldn't get a point for, for a while because you had a terrible losing run. You haven't really had that. You've been picking up the odd point here and there. So if it is the lull, then it probably isn't as bad as it was last year. Yeah, I think that's obviously the positive to you know come out of it that. We're not, we're not losing, you know, we're still picking up points, not being at our best, we're, we're still grinding out um, our points to, to stay in, stay in the mix, so um, you know, as long as we pick up to get some wins now and not have that March slump as such, then you know, we should be fine. Yeah.